Okay guys, today we're going to practice making a magazine cover. So I've got a picture of Kobe pulled up. I've got a picture of Time Magazine pulled up. The only reason I have this is just to sample the colors. So we're going to start by creating a blank document. You're going to get a file new and we can call this Magazine Practice. You know that the width is 8.5 and, and the height is 11 inches. Resolution, we can 200 is fine for this and we'll hit OK. Okay, the first thing we want to do is sample this red color. So let's get back over to the Time Magazine. I'm going to get my, my um, eyedropper, and I'll sample the red. So now my foreground color has changed to red. And I'll go back to my magazine practice and use the paint bucket, which may be under your gradient tool, to paint the, the entire thing red. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to set up some guides. You can only use the guides if you have your ruler showing. So if you don't have a ruler showing, you're going to get a view and put a check mark beside rulers. Okay, so to get your guides, let's go ahead and click on the Move tool. And you can click on the ruler and, and drag and start dragging it over. So let's just say we want a border of half an inch maybe. So you're going to go over until this X that you see here, right now it's at 0 .480, is as close to 0.5 as you can get it. Okay. And then half an inch from this side, since it goes to 8.5, would be right at the 8 inch mark. So I'm going to drag over until I get as close to 8 as I can. And then we're going to do the same thing from the top ruler. So we're going to go down half an inch. And then half an inch from the bottom would be ten and a half. Okay, so now we have these kind of parameters set up. We're going to choose the rectangular marquee tool. Make sure you have zero feather. And you'll start at this corner. Drag down until you have it the exact size of this interior that you've created. Okay, and now what we want to do is we're going to paint it actually on a new layer. So let's make a new layer. Click on the new layer button. Make sure you're on this new layer. Get the paint bucket. We want to paint it white. And there you go. Okay, control D. But if we look back at this Time Magazine, you can see that there is a slight black outline around this white box. So let's go back and we'll add an effect. So down here, we're going to click on the FX button and go Stroke. We're going to add a straight Stroke around layer 1. Okay, so choose Stroke. The color is black. And 10 might be a little too much. I'm just going to change mine to like 7. And then hit OK. Okay, now we have a black stroke there. Okay, the next thing we want to do in this case is bring Kobe over. So I'm going to get my move tool. I'm going to drag him over to my magazine practice. And he fits nicely, but in order to show you how this works, I want to make him actually a little bigger. So I want them to go slightly outside of this white area, just so that I can show you how this works. Okay. And in order to show you, I'm also going to move my guides out of the way. Okay. All right. If we want Kobe to actually appear just inside the white box, so it looks like his head is going behind the red, an easy way to do that is to hold down control and click on the box that is layer one. So basically the white square. And anytime you hold down control and click on a layer, the picture of the layer, it's going to select that layer. Let me just show you real quick. I'm going to control D. So I'm going to hold down control and click on this picture of Kobe in my layers palette. And you can see that it puts this um, selection around my layer, which is Kobe. Okay, but I actually, so I want to do it on layer one. Hold down control and click. And now that I have the white box selected, I can go to my layer that has Kobe on it. And now just click on a layer mask. 
and it will add the layer mask for me in the shape that I had selected. So what it did is it basically just put Kobe behind the red, okay? Made him fit within this white. All right, and as far as practice goes, that's all we're gonna do. However, what I wanna show you, um, on magazine covers, you wanna pay special attention to the way that the text is lined up. So you're gonna use these guides a good bit, and let's say we want all of our text lined up on this line. Bring the guide over so that you can make sure that the text is always evenly aligned on the left or the right. So you'll use your guides there also. Okay, we'll be doing some more practice as far as the text goes. Um, and a Flurm video is very good for that, so we'll watch that. But as far as turning in the magazine practice, this is what you're going to turn in. So save this as a JPEG and submit this for grading.